Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Well, hi there, uh, those of you that uh, uh, just uh, saw the picture on the Facebook page of the box of death, uh, or the small box of certain death, uh, contained these uh, Echis coloratus or the uh, saw scales from uh, northern Egypt, uh, the Sinai Desert, Saudi Arabia, um, also known in, Aust in uh, Israel. This is supposedly a little female, it's a little small, but my friend uh, said it was probed, so uh, I believe it. The uh, the other one definitely is a male. Now, <laughs> well, she's ready to go. Yeah, you're a friendly little lady, huh? I see, I see. Look at you, huh? Just don't do anything silly. Will you sit still? No, I have to saw scale. <laughs> All right. Well, we have a uh, enclosure set up. No, oh, gonna come at me, huh? That's fine. That's fine. I know where we stand. Uh, if Mrs. Viper Keeper would hand me the camera, though, um, we have a hide spot in the hot area which I've got set to about 90 degrees. We have a hide spot in the cold area and a couple little cactuses to cover. And then we have the real hot spot right down here. Oh, Echis Coloratus Cam. Oh yeah, she means business. <laughs> I love Echis. Yeah, she's probably a girl. Look at that tail. All right, I'll give this back to Mrs. Viper Keeper so I can handle uh, her properly. Actually, we'll do a modified scoop. Come on. Now, saw scaling is a, whoa, is a very, very rapid means of propulsion. So we will uh, we'll make sure that she propels herself into the cage. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, go uh, crawl around and check out your new home. Now, I'll use these guys as a quarantine zone, um, but soon as she does some growing, hopefully she'll be able to breed with some of the other males that I have. Uh, uh, But uh, she's hell on wheels already. <laughs> now, we have to go over in the other room and help out the male. The male arrived with a bad shed and very dehydrated. So I get the fun and privilege of putting some Pedialyte in him. So that ought to be interesting. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll uh, we'll bring them back over here and stuff them in. Hopefully, the little female decides to go to the back and hide somewhere. Tubes from uh, from Stony. 
Uh, my tubes have all uh, obliterated themselves. And they're all cracked. Yes. Okay, nice new blue, not sterile, but very, very clean towel. And a very, very tough customer. Oh yeah, look at those skin folds. Ooh. Very dehydrated. Oh, poor guy. You're not going to like this, but it's good for you. Yeah, he's not going to like it. Well, I don't particularly like it either, but uh, uh, this is what we got to do. Hello, dude. You go ahead and do that. Hey, come on. I hate bopping them on the nose. That's just not for, you know, it, it, to me it's really rude, but uh, sometimes you have to, uh, you have to sort of get their attention and, whoa, hey. Go. Oh, sure, I don't have the right size tube, but he goes in that tube. <laughs> that figures. Okay, let me get him situated. He's a bitey guy. Yeah. Come on. No, nothing we like to do on a regular basis. Oh, come on, no musking, no pooping, no nothing like that. Come on. No bending the head down. Come on, I want to make sure that I don't get this in the wrong pipe. Okay, we avoided the uh, glottis. Oh, isn't this pleasant, huh? Huh? You want to grab it with one hand and pull it down? Okay. Yeah, I know you want to bite me. There we go. Alright, now I'll just, uh... Hey, you bit yourself too, huh? Yeah, and he peed on me. Well, it's better than him venoming you. Well, this is true. Ooh, he is trying to rotate in the air in his... Okay, now young lady, I warned you about being up close here because I have to toss this guy. Yeah. <laughs> so I, uh, that's, uh -huh. that's actually more dangerous than pinning. Yep. It's getting rid, of the, yep. getting rid of the thing without getting bit. Okay, you got some fluid in you. You two become acquainted. You know, it's a little abrupt, but Echis kill more people on the planet than probably all the other snakes put together with the exception of the Russell's Viper. Mm. So, I wanted him out of my hands as rapidly as possible. I'm sorry it was a little rude, but... Um, he was also very pissed off and would have been very quick to get you if he could. Well, yeah, because he was trying to death roll in my hand, and with that loose skin that he has, he was getting around. I was really having to apply pressure to his neck uh, yep. uh, in order to avoid that uh, fate. So, all right, we'll just uh, let them chill and, uh, so to speak, even though it's going to be 90 degrees in there shortly, and uh, hopefully he keeps the water down, the Pedialyte, reason why you start with Pedialyte, folks, if you got a dehydrated animal, the worst thing you can do is you put fresh water into their, uh, their gut. The fresh water goes into their bloodstream, it dilutes their electrolytes, they go into cardiogenic shock and die, or they blow out their kidneys, one or the other. Uh, so you give them a balanced salt solution with electrolytes, it gets absorbed through the intestine slowly, uh, and doesn't cause them to go into shock. Um, the little girl doesn't look that way at all, so I'm just going to leave her be. I might spray the cage down with a little bit of water, although she's ready to bite. And she's throat puffing a little bit. Uh, I'm not so much worried about it right now. Okay. Um, that's why they're sort of in quarantine. Okay. Uh, also, you know, I use disinfectant in there and 
The fumes could be a little bit ugly in there, but I let it air out for quite a while. Um, I just think that she's just foul. Yeah, well, definitely. Okay, and he's like, how dare you? <laughs> he can't quite, he's a little bit uh, in shock because uh, what I did to him. Uh, ma imagine, you know, you have to put your place yourself in the place of the animal. How would you feel if someone grabbed you by the neck, stuck a tube down your throat, and, you know, gave you something, even though it was going to uh, perhaps save your life? Uh, you wouldn't be terribly happy about it, so... Uh, we always have to put our, our own shoes in the shoes of the snakes that uh, we're working with and understand that what we're doing uh, is a huge violation of, of, of their self. Uh, that's the only way to, to describe it. Okay, I want to leave them alone now because I don't want them biting each other because if they see each other moving, it uh, could draw a strike. They'll probably be okay, but I, I just don't want them uh, uh, doing that. So let's... Uh, Let's leave them alone. I'll rest my back for a little while. Bye, Good. guys. Okay, here we are. Let's see if we can get some more uh, food down the gullet of this little, uh, this little tight band here on the babies. Hi. Oh, you're opaque. Perfect time to... Uh, uh, to get you some uh, some fluid and a little bit of food in you. Come on. Come on. Come on, don't expend energy. Come on. There we go. There we go. Come on, that's a little bit too head, too much head for me to uh, to work that close to. Use the extension tool. If you want to back up, that's even better. Go ahead, back up. See, these gloves do give you protection against little babies like this, but you lose your dexterity, and when you lose your dexterity, you got some serious wrinkles on you, sweetheart. When you lose your dexterity, you can't manipulate or hold on to the animal. Now come on. I know how you like to bite these things. Come on. So now this is a Kristen Wiley technique where you get the snake stuck in the tube and you you sort of force it by pushing its mouth. Uh, very stubborn. Until you can get it. Yeah, well, that's much bigger than the uh, the other two, but, you know, I really sort of uh, ah, 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 that's too far. That's too far. the old standard. You know, the, the skinny ones are some advantage to that. Hey, stop that. Come on. Come on, straighten your stupid little, little nasty little body out. Come on. What is that? Well, it, it's, it actually allows you a little bit more control. Yeah, just grab them by the tail. Straighten them out.
Okay. Yeah, okay, you can bite that, that's fine. See, now I've got the syringe with some graduation. So we put two cc's in already. Okay, so we've given her or him a big dose of my own venom. Uh, hopefully it will keep them going, it won't regurge. So we'll do this uh, uh, until we can uh, get it eating on its own. Well, if it's out moving around, it means it's not thinking about regurgitating yet, which is a plus. All right, well, uh, hazardous duty is, uh, well, the most hazardous duty, you damn little bug you. I swear I'm going to buy one of those uh, uh, ultraviolet laser uh, uh, guns and just smoke them as they go crawling around. <laughs> So, uh, let, since we're here, let's have a little look at our other uh, lethal little guy. How you doing, bud? Huh? How you doing? You just shed. I know. I know. Are you going to do the huffies and buffies? Uh, you guys are famous for that. I gotta dig out uh, all the uh, appropriate labels for my new charges. Uh, these uh, Bothrops columbiensis, the gold phase, I don't have uh, labels for. I'll have to make those up, but uh, as you can see, it has the very friendly Bothrop scowl there. <laughs> Yeah, they're beautiful. They're, they're as close to you can get legally the golden lance head. Hello, you must be the boy. And of course, this Taipan is ready to feed again. Hello, how are you? Let's see if we can get, some, get a, a meal into uh, uh, him some frozen thawed, that would be really nice. And here we have the most dangerous snake in the entire room. It's <laughs> the corn snake. Aww. He, yeah, he's gotten really big. What a nice guy. Well, he's eating everything I put in there. This is uh, something I picked up for Lori. Uh, he's doing quite well. One of the few uh, uh, non-lethal snakes in the house, very few. <laughs> I can see all my little little uh, Ekka's friends looking at me like, It's Friday! Feed me! Little tiny uh, two-week-old Western Diamondbacks. Unless you try to grab them, they're not going to uh, be much to worry about. Buzzers. Cute little buzzers. Hi, how you doing? Look at that beautiful little coontail. Hi, yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna move your tuckus. I know. There you go. Look at that, isn't that cute? That's classic Aatrox. Now let's see if I can take a picture without getting bit. Uh, these are not staying here. I brought them back for a friend. Um, I much prefer uh, having a, a lot of these animals sort of like in what I call our family. 
uh, where we just trade animals and give animals back and forth. Hey, I just had a litter of these here, have a couple, that sort of a deal. It's much, much better than uh, uh, having, you know, do all this crappy uh, selling animals and uh, uh, having to, to worry about uh, idiots that kiss cotton mouths and things like that. It's just much better to keep it in the family. And uh, uh, this way, uh, no morons will be hurt. Why? He's trying to rattle his little button. Isn't he so cute? I know. I know. You're go this, I'm just temporarily saying hello because you're going to, uh, uh, to a different place to, to, uh, to live. They're about 10 days old or so. Um, I'm not sure if they're eating or, or anything like that. Hello. I know. I know. I see your little tail wagging. Get out of there, Mr. Fly. You don't belong. Can I really piss you off by giving you a little water? Huh? Huh? You like a little water? Is that okay? Huh? Is that okay? You and Western Diamondbacks could use water once in a while, huh? Well, you're just a little bloke. Have some water. That wasn't so dangerous, was it, huh? How about you? I think that's the boy over there. How's that? Oh, you got a few drops on your tongue. How's that, huh? You like that or not? Huh? Yes, no, oops. Well, I didn't want a bath. <laughs> they take water better than my tropical snakes, and these are desert animals. If I put, you know, if I spray down the Rhino vipers are like, ah, get me out of here. Hi, dude. Okay, uh, that's all for the buzztails. Uh, we'll just let them uh, rest here on the table. Um, and I'm going to actually start to uh, uh, thaw some stuff and see how many more gaboons and rhinos I can get feeding. Um, and that way I know uh, who can ship and who can't ship and all that good stuff. Alright, onward to upward.